Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is the floating letters. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a plate, which I got at the dollar store, dry erase markers, a measuring cup, and water. So I will explain the science behind it, as I usually do. But here we're going to watch these letters as they seem to magically move around and um, off the plate there and into a word. As you also see, a little bit of the water is pulling back up into the measuring cup. Therefore, showing my trick isn't how the letters got into the word science, but how I just reversed the video. So I will show you uh, how to set this up and how to do it. So you write the word that you want. I wrote science. Lightly write it. Do not press hard against the plate so it does not stick very hard. And then you're going to take your water immediately afterwards, just room temperature, and pour from the edge very slowly. If you pour too fast, it might just dissolve all the letters. Um, and slowly, as you can see, you can start seeing the words are starting to come off right off the plate. And there you have it. Uh, you have your um, moving letters, just like that. So I will explain the science behind it and also test some other colors. So I actually found this on um, Twitter from a guy named Paul Anderson. I'm going to put his Twitter account in the description and also his webpage um, information there. It was really interesting, and so I don't give him full credit for it. Um, one thing he didn't have is all the uh, information on how the experiment works, so I did some research, and this is what I came up with. The science behind this is permanent markers like Sharpies um, rely on inks that have strong adhesive to stick to most of the surface they write on, right? So therefore permanent and you can't get it off. But the dry eraser markers uh, inks are minimum adhesive. So making notes and drawings can be easily wiped away afterwards, that, hence the name dry erase and what most of the teachers use on whiteboards. So the ink uh, dry erase markers are also insoluble. That means it can't be dissolved. It can be dissolved in a liquid. And more importantly, it means it's less dense than water. When you pour the water onto the dry erase word, like I use science, on a smooth surface, which a plate I used at the for I got at the dollar store, a strong buoyancy force overcomes the stickiness of the ink, pulling the word science off the plate, the surface of the plate, causing it to float in the water. It's just just to me, it's just amazing. Um, now uh, using a new marker seemed to work really good. Um, I think most of my markers are pretty new. The black was brand new, so that's why it works the most. But when I started using these, the, the blue um, and the green and the red, um, the blue just totally just, uh, um, you know, kind of just wiped out. You don't really see any of the letters at all. You can see here the blue, you can make out a couple of letters, uh, but not as much. Again, you want to go very, very slow. The green is an older pen, so I didn't have any new green pens, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And I think most of the reason is besides I poured it too quick at the end, it didn't work, is it was an older pen. Now the red pen's brand new, definitely. Um, you want to pour very slowly, and you'll see that uh, most of the letters are coming right off, so it worked just as good. Here's some tips. Use brand new pens, uh, the Expo Dry Erase. Press lightly when you press onto your plate. Uh, don't wait too long to pour the water. Pour pretty much right away. I use regular tap water, but you can use warm or hot water and see what those turn out. And uh, let me know in, your, in the results below on how it came out. And thanks for watching. And remember to like and subscribe. 